If you are also looking for professional certified structural engineering services or courses, then don't forget to check link in description of this video. In this video, we will learn the difference between one-way and two-way slabs. The main difference between one-way and two-way slabs lies in how they distribute and carry the loads. These terms refer to structural behavior of slab when subjected to external forces such as dead loads, live loads and other forces. Here is a breakdown on the differences between one-way and two-way slabs. One-way slab, two-way slab, load distribution. One-way slabs are designed to primarily carry load in one direction perpendicular to the supporting beams or walls or the supporting members. The load is distributed along the longer span of the slab and the shorter span acts as a simple support. While in two-way slabs, load distribution or two-way slabs are designed to distribute and carry loads in both directions, spanning between supports along the longer and shorter spans. The load is distributed in a grid pattern across the entire slabs. Reinforcement. The reinforcement in a one-way slab is mainly provided in the direction perpendicular to the supports, the longer span. The ma main reinforcing bars, known as main bars, are placed along the longer span, and smaller bars, known as distribution bars, are placed perpendicular to the main bars, known as distribution bars. In two-way slabs, the reinforcement is distributed in both directions, forming a grid of reinforcing bars. This grid pattern is created with main bars and sometimes referred as mesh, running in both direction, longer and shorter span, and distribution bars are placed in both directions to carry the load uniformly. Typical application of one-way slabs is in situations where the longer span is significantly larger than the shorter span, such as corridor floors of residential buildings and narrow bays. Typical application of two-way slabs are suitable for situations where the spans are relatively equal in both directions. They are commonly used in larger rooms, open spaces, and areas where the architectural layout demands more flexible load distribution. This is a schematic drawing showing the one-way slab and two-way slab load distribution difference. For one-way slab, the span R, the ratio of the spans is greater than 2. While for two-way slabs, the ratio of the span dimensions is less than or equal to 2. The distribution of one-way slab you can see is directly distributed to perpendicular to the shorter span. While in two-way slabs, the load distribution is trapezoidal and is distributed on all sides of the structural support. This is a typical deformation characteristics of one-way slab and two-way slab and the reinforcement schematic for the design in two-way slab we have main bar in both the directions and in one-way slab we have the main bar in shorter direction while the distribution bar or shrinkage reinforcement to control cracking of concrete in the longer direction the difference between one-way slab and two-way slab for deformation is clearly shown that one-way deformation or deflection is occurring in the shorter span which is also acting as a simply support while for two-way the deflection is acting in both the directions or both axes the reinforcement arrangement in three-dimensional view is also shown for one-way slab as well as two-way slab in summary the key distinct feature of difference between one-way slab and two-way slab is the direction in which they primarily carry and distribute the loads one-way slab distribute loads primarily in one direction, whereas two-way slab distribute loads in both the directions. The choice between these slab types depend on the factors such as span length, architectural requirements, loading conditions, and the desired structural behavior for the required structural system. If you want to learn how to design these slabs, then check out the link in description of this video. Thank you for watching.